Hi, my name is Greg Woodward. I'm the dealer principal for Grand Teton Harley-Davidson in Idaho Falls. We're going to talk to you today about the Harley-Davidson Sportster S. It's a brand new model within Harley-Davidson's lineup. Yeah, a lot of you might have known about this as the Harley-Davidson Custom 1250, as Harley has hinted at that name, but it is known now as the Sportster S. We're going to talk specs, we're going to talk pricing, we're going to talk how this fits in the Harley-Davidson lineup, and a few little things that you might not know about this bike already. So let's get right into the sports dress here. This is going to be a high performance model for Harley Davidson. It's running on the all new Revolution Max engine. It's 1250 cc's. They're actually referring to this engine as the Revolution Max 1250T, which means torque. So don't confuse this with the same motor that's in the new Pan America because it is different. And Harley plans to use the Revolution Max engine in several new models that are yet to be announced. But this particular Revolution Max engine is specific to the Harley-Davidson Sportster S. And from the initial spec sheet, it looks really impressive. That torque element, it's got 94 pound-feet of torque. It's gonna to be really competitive in this bobber cruiser class, 121 horsepower. Harley is claiming that this bike has flat torque delivery. So it's supposed to get off the line quick and feel like it's pulling all throughout the power band here as well. So let's get to price here on the Harley-Davidson Sportster S. It's $14,999. And this bike, even though it is the most expensive Sportster, it is gonna be competitive with other uh, uh, competition out in the market right now. It's a bobber style motorcycle, big fat front tire, plenty of horsepower. It's gonna be the lightest Sportster. 502 pounds, uh, which is going to give it a really high power to weight ratio. From what we can tell, it's going to be the best power to weight ratio in its class. So you might be asking yourself, is this Harley Davidson Sports Dress a big deal? Well, it really is. The Sportster is the longest running model in Harley Davidson's lineup. It's been in the lineup since 1957. It hasn't had a major update for 35 years. So the last time it was updated was 1986. So let's get into the specs and figure out why this model is different and why it's going to be important uh, for Harley Davidson going forward. So let's get right into what makes the Harley Davidson Sportster S different. So it starts at the heart of it with the Revolution Max 1250T engine. This is an all new engine. Yes, it's the Revolution Max engine, but it is different than what's in the Pan America. That T in the 1250T is actually for torque. This bike has a lot of torque, has a lot of power based on its weight. It weighs in at 502 pounds. This bike is a V-twin, uh, 60 degree V-twin, liquid cooled. Um, it's got three selectable ride modes, which is a new thing for the Sportster. The only other Harley Davidson with ride modes right now is the Pan America. Those ride modes are just a normal street mode, a sport mode, and a rain mode. Uh, rain mode is supposed to be good for obviously the rain, but it also is uh, a mode that Harley Davidson says you should select if you're getting used to this bike or you're a new rider. So it, it, the bike will be approachable for new riders as well with that rain mode. Uh, cruise control is standard, ABS is standard on this motorcycle as, long as, as well as traction control, and that's cornering ABS and traction control. There is a new infotainment system, LED headlights uh, are also um, new on this bike. Uh, it will have kind of a similar family look to the Fat Bob with that pill-based headlight design, but it's LED all the way around. And you know Harley-Davidson is going to support this uh, motorcycle right out of the gate with a lot of parts and accessories that are available. They haven't announced any Screaming Eagle performance parts or accessories, but you know that's coming. That's part of Harley-Davidson's model. So the Harley-Davidson Sportster S also has a six-speed transmission. Sportsters right now have a five-speed transmission. So for those that do like to do highway cruising, you know, that bike is pretty wrapped out on the highway. With that six-speed in the transmission, it should be much more approachable uh, for folks on the highway and, and much more bearable at highway speeds as well. This engine has tons of performance, like we mentioned, but all of that performance needs some stopping power as well. Like I mentioned, that there are ABS brakes. Uh, but the stopping power is provided by Brembo brakes. Along with the three pre-programmed ride modes that Harley-Davidson gives you in this bike, there are actually two customizable options as well. If it's similar to the Pan America, you're gonna be able to adjust throttle response, engine braking, and the such to adapt to your specific personalized riding style. So where does the Harley-Davidson Sportster S fall in the lineup? Well, it's starting to approach that soft tail lineup. Uh, and there actually are some soft tails that are priced a little less than this, like the soft tail standard, the soft tail slim, uh, street bob kind of category in terms of price. But this is a much different bike. We've had, you know, people think the, the Revolution Max is just a continuation of the V-Rod engine, but it's not. It's an all new engine. There were some technology things that uh, Harley-Davidson learned from the V-Rod, but this is an all new engine. 
And you know, I've had some experience with this engine now with the Pan America, and I really enjoy it. It's got variable valve timing, uh, which allows me to be in not quite the right gear uh, and still kind of work my way through it. And with all the available torque here as well, it needs variable valve timing to make sure that it has is able to kind of put that torque down to the ground. This bike has a custom bobber look, and yes, it does have some hints of the fat bob and the bobber look that the fat bob has, but it is a much different bike. It does have the pill-like uh, headlamp. Uh, these are LED on this particular bike, but it has its own unique styling and it fits nicely in the Sportster lineup. As to whether or not, you know, Harley Davidson's getting rid of the Sportster here in North America, we haven't heard that yet. Um, we know that it's not available for sale in Europe right now. Um, and we know that Harley Davidson is committed to the Revolution Max engine. So it is gonna find its way into other models, but we don't have any other information about it uh, yet. But with these two new models that we have, the Pan America and the Sportster S, um, you know, it is finding its way into different products now, and it's a fantastic engine. Now, traditionally, the Harley Davidson Sportster has kind of been treated as a beginner bike. But as you can see, the Sportster S really changes that. This is a performance bike. So it's important to note that the Revolution Max 1250T engine is a brand new engine. It's not the same Revolution Max 1250 engine that's found in the Pan America, and it's not the old V-Rod engine. This bike has different valves, a different power profile, different tuning, camshafts are different, the intake and exhaust are different as well. And it has been, been designed as the T in 1250T uh, designates to produce a tremendous amount of torque right off of the line with a flat torque curve through the mid-range to feel like this bike pulls, just like some of the big twin engines out there. The Revolution Max is a unitized powertrain, meaning that the engine and six-speed transmission are all housed in the same place, which increases performance and enhances handling. The Harley-Davidson Sportster S is equipped with a two into one into two performance exhaust that sweeps up high, but it is insulated, so it will reduce heat around a passenger's legs, but still provide some really unique styling cues that tie back to the XR750. The Sportster S is equipped with a 17 inch front wheel and a 16 inch back wheel uh, with a wide tire that gives it that classic bobber look. In fact, the width of the front wheel is the same width as the Harley Davidson Fat Bob. This will contribute to the overall look and feel and handling of the motorcycle. So as for forks and suspension, the Harley Davidson Sportster S is equipped with Showa front and rear shock components that are fully adjustable for preload and rebound. The bike also is low maintenance compared to some of the other competitors out in the space uh, with variable valve timing. Uh, those valves actually don't need to be adjusted where some of the competitors need to be uh, taken to the dealership for maintenance as, as little as 6,000 miles. In terms of seating position, handlebars, the Harley-Davidson Sports Dress, again, is in that classic bobber type styling, forward controls, forward aggressive position for aggressive riding that matches the performance of this vehicle. Very similar to the Harley-Davidson Lowrider S, but for those of you that prefer mid controls, Harley-Davidson right out of the gate has a mid control option available. Uh, there again, it just comes down to preference. Me being a taller guy, I actually like the forward controls on this style bike. What else is different with this motorcycle? So Harley Davidson has been behind on the Sportster model for sure with technology. That's not the case with the Sportster S. There is a new four inch in diameter TFT screen that should be high resolution. It'll display all the functions of this vehicle along with infotainment information. And it's supposed to integrate really neatly with a new helmet that Harley Davidson has come out with. The new helmet is the Outrush R helmet. It's a Bluetooth capable helmet with all the Bluetooth functionality built into it. It's modular, it looks really cool, and it's supposed to work well with this motorcycle. Harley Davidson's releasing it alongside this motorcycle. Harley Davidson is also releasing a new parts and accessories kit, uh, new pegs, new hand grips that are billet aluminum with some gloss black accents called the Wild One Collection. So. Right out of the gate, you can personalize your Sportster S in a style that's unique to the stock version. So I'm really excited about the Harley Davidson Sportster S. I've owned a Sportster in the past. I had an XR1200, it was my third motorcycle. I love that bike. I have a pretty large collection, so I'm constantly moving things in and out, and I'm planning to add this bike to my personal motorcycle collection. I've ridden the Pan America. I've gotten used to this engine. I love it. If reception is the same, 
uh, for this bike as it was for the Pan America, I think motorcycle enthusiasts out there are gonna be really pleasantly surprised with uh, what Harley Davidson has put together here. And I can't wait to get on this motorcycle and uh, you know, come up with impressions right out of the gate for it. I really do like what Harley Davidson is doing in, in terms of you know, continuing to innovate. And frankly, I don't think they really had a choice. Um, they have a really unique history. Harley Davidson has a massive community. Those of you that uh, have been part of that community um, and supported Harley Davidson in years past, uh, I think are gonna be really surprised and gonna support this vehicle as well and realize that you know, Harley's really advancing the ball and setting themselves up for you know, the future here, the next several de decades to come. So the Harley Davidson Sportster S is a really historical moment for the Sportster lineup. Like I mentioned, it's been 35 years since the Harley Davidson Sportster has been updated. So this is really a historic moment. I was only 10 years old. I couldn't get on a Sportster at that moment in time. And I'm really excited to be part of this historic moment and the next movement in the Sportster lineup uh, and a new level of performance in that family. And we'll see where Harley Davidson goes with the Revolution Max engine and what application they're gonna put it in next. So really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, as you can see, we're producing a lot more video content. Please make sure you like, subscribe. It helps us produce more of it. Uh, right as soon as we get one of these motorcycles on the ground or get more information about it, if Harley Davidson does a training session similar to what they did on the Pan America, we wanna be the first to bring you some of that information. And like I mentioned, we're really excited to get on this motorcycle. So give Grand Teton Harley Davidson a follow and uh, we'll look for you in our next video.